Hey guys, this is Mainak and this is the date of the lecture on the tutorial on building design or using Stat Pro. So let's get started. In the previous lecture, we had modeled all the beams and columns and assigned the properties to the beams and columns. Now we'll provide the, the modeling of the slab. As we know, we do the modeling of the slab uh, in the first floor and the second floor, not in the ground floor because in the ground floor there is PCC and below that there is the compacted earth or sand. So uh, we know that concept already discussed. So let's uh, provide the slab. The purpose is to, uh, as because the software automatically will calculate the dead load and provide it. And we don't have to consider the self uh, weight of the slab. Okay. So let's get started here. And uh, in this, uh, we'll just uh, go forward in the front view. In the front view, we'll just take uh, this particular level here, like, like this. And uh, we'll go here view and view uh, and uh, selected objects only. And then we'll go to the top view here and uh, we'll start assigning these slabs here. So uh, for assigning the slabs, we can see uh, here, we have the second option add four noted plates. So we'll use the, this option exactly to add the four noted plates here. So one, two, and uh, three, and uh, four is the one slab. One, uh, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four here, like this, we'll just uh, do the, complete the remaining things. Four, we have to do this carefully so that there is no overlap or we do it in the correct way, right? Three and four. Okay, I hope I've done this correctly. One, two, three and four. One, two, three, and four. Also, you should do it in a you know, in a systematic way. Otherwise, you will yourself forget which slab you have marked and which you have not. So that is also a matter. Two, three, and four. I'll do this. One, two, three, and four. And this one this is landing portion, right? The topmost portion of the slab. The slab the staircase will come and meet here. This is the mid landing which you have not modeled. Okay. So this one, two, three, and four. Again, one, two, three, and four. This portion of the staircase will leave blank this portion, obviously, for obvious reasons. And uh, we'll go here to view whole structure. And uh, we'll go to the topmost level here, uh, front view. Uh, normal cursor, select this view. Selected objects only, top view. Again, uh, four noted plate. Select two, three, and four. One, 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 two, Three and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So uh, now we can check whether everything is okay or not. Just uh, go to view and view whole structure. And after that, uh, just we can just uh, go to this uh, option of your this uh, pyramid. You can see this is only selected, so this is only showing. But to just uh, click escape and then uh, then go to this option. You can see the uh, for rotating, you can use the mouse left click, right? Rotating and provide if anything is remaining, you will see into this. So this is perfectly modeled. Uh, these slabs are done. And now I can close this, right? So now you can see the modeling is done. And uh, after that, we'll provide go for the loadings. So uh, let's go to the ground floor or the print level. Uh, select the go to the front view, select the print level, uh, view selected. 
objects only top view click outside and uh, in here we'll provide the uh, load here uh, i'll calculate the load approximately the so we show you wall thickness is 0.125 uh, okay five inches one into the uh thickness uh, if this uh unit rate of the brick is 19 kilonewton per meter red brick is 19 kilonewton per meter cube unit of plaster is 20 kilonewton per meter cube so we'll take 20 okay and uh, the height of the wall is three meters and three meters minus 0.35 uh that is uh for the if you deduct for the portion for the beam uh three minus 0.35 it equals uh your uh 2.65 so into 2.65 will take right okay not uh, this is into 2.65 and take okay we'll just consider this again 0 0.125 uh into 20 uh into uh 2.65 2.65 or let's say 2.7 so it's 6.75. So we'll take a take seven uh, load uh, a load of seven kilonewton to apply everywhere. So and on all the portions where you have the walls. So we'll go ahead and uh, select. Uh, uh, let's select this. Uh, uh, you know this loads here loads and definitions. Just uh, click outside. Save this. We'll save this. No problem in that. Uh, loads and definitions here, and uh, in this uh, loads and definitions. Uh, first of all, uh, go and uh, define the uh, seismic load, right? So here, seismic uh, load will define as uh, IS one eight nine three two thousand to two thousand five, and uh, click to generate. Uh, let's select by zone. This is in zone five of the earthquake. SMRF is okay, and general building import factor one is okay. Damping ratio point five percent. Uh, five percent this is actually point since this is not a genuine software so you have to do point zero five then it will come okay in the uh, output file point zero five or five percent in the original version they, they don't need to do this but you here you need to give point zero five then it will come okay so click on generate and uh, uh, this after you click on generate here and then you click on add so here uh, you can also take the self weight uh, factor add and uh, then close remaining things you will do by stat editor right so load case details and uh, you'll add the first load case and the first load case will be uh, your slx seismic load in the extraction slx and uh, click on add and then will be the uh, slz slz uh, click on add and then will be dl then click on add and then it will be ll and if you're adding the wind load then that to add the wind load as well and that will be later or you can add start with the dead loads uh, live load and then seismic load and uh, this uh, wind load so that is uh, your choice okay but this order also no problem uh then we'll uh, go to the dead load and click on this add here and first of all to add the load of the walls uh we have to first of all consider the self weight obviously in the y direction we'll add here self weight and in the load of the wall we'll consider this minus seven because it's acting from top to bottom and click on add and uh, first of all this uh, self weight will just assign to view assign and yes and this uh, unit uh, seven load we will uh, select this uh, portion right Select this portion and first of all see if any portion is exempted from the loads. Uh, this is the ground floor plan. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, there will not be any wall here, so this portion is kind of exempted uh, from the load. So uh, if you just uh, deselect this, shift and deselect. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, select this again like this. Control select this. Press Control and select this. Select this once again. Select this. Like this, and uh, this, like this, and uh, hopefully, this portion is also selected, could be selected, and then uh, assign to selected teams, assign and yes, like this. You can do this, and uh, after this, uh, what we can do, view. Uh, whole structure 
let's uh, give the load to the next, next two levels as well uh provide the same loads here in the next two level for the walls so uh going to the front view select this uh view selected objects only uh top view and then uh select all the things here and uh, it seems to the select option is there. This is an option or not there, but here every portion, we select this portion, let's uh, select here. And the walls will be there, control and select this. And uh, this portion will definitely have load. This also will have the load. This also will have the load. This portion will not have, this one will have, this one will have. This one will have the walls here. And this one will not have any uh, load here. This one, this one staircase definitely. And we'll have landing also here, uh, but no walls. So let's give it, give this to call it some load on the landing. And uh, this one also, let's provide this like this. And uh, then it's time to select it beams, assign and yes. Uh, let's go to the next level view, uh, whole structure and uh, then front view. And then this topmost view and uh, go to view and uh, selected objects only and uh, top view again. Now in this portion, we'll only provide the load of balcony for, for as calculate the load of balcony, you can see. Uh, so height will keep as one meter, one meter into uh, wall uh, thickness, we'll consider as five inch walls only. Uh, one, but let's consider 10 inch wall for safety. Okay, 0.25 uh, into, and then uh, the 20 into 20. So it will be uh, around five. Uh, if you consider this 10 inch wall, uh, if you consider this uh, uh, five inch walls, then see uh, it will be uh, one meter into uh, 0.125, the thickness of the wall into your 20 it will be around 2.5. So let's consider three uh, for uh, the loads here. So uh, uh, go to dead load and click on add and uh, member load and uh, minus three, right? Five inch walls of parapet walls we're considering and uh, select this. And after selecting this, uh, just uh, select the beams where we along the perimeter where we have the parapet walls uh, for the slab. Have control selecting. This is easy. And uh, select the parapet walls. And uh, note that for the uh, okay, just uh, provide them first and then we'll note whatever assign the beams, assign, and yes. So after that, uh, in the staircase portion where you have the actual staircase, uh, you need to provide the load of the uh, 10 inch walls here, not here. This will be an ending here. This portion actually, actually the wall will not be in this portion. It will be along the bit landing section. So let's, uh, you know, consider this because we have not considered the end lever. So here we need to actually uh, provide this assign to selected beams, assign, and then click on yes. So this is the load which has been provided. And uh, then we go for the live load. Live load, uh, uh, we can provide, but dead load, one thing is remaining, that is the, uh, you know, lower finish load of one kilonewton per meter. So let's, uh, first of all, go to view and uh, select the whole structure here and uh, dead load and click on add. And uh, here we'll uh, go and uh, select this uh, uh, flow load. In the flow load, uh, the pressure of minus one kilonewton per meter square and uh, the X and Y range doesn't matter. On the Y range, uh, we'll start above from the means level. So let's give you a 2.8 uh, minimum. So minimum will be 2.8 and the maximum uh, will be, uh, this is at three and this is at uh, uh, this is at uh, six. So in this, there will be no floor finish load because there will be no floor finish here. So only this, let's, uh, this portion we want. So here, but let's take this as well. Let's take this, okay. Uh, maximum will be, let's say 6.1, okay. Uh, then click on add and then uh, close it. Uh, live load also uh, will be the same here and uh, we can add it from here or in the stat editor you can add. I'll add it in the editor, okay. The press control plus S and save the model and then we'll open the stat editor from here. First of all, add the live load here. Uh, you can see uh, this is the live load from the floor load. Uh, you can see just uh, add this floor load one minus one which you have added here live load we provide two kilonewton for residential building as per the is code and just uh, click this two and uh, save this and uh, close the editor and then you can see in the load case definitions here 
the uh, live load is uh, already there and you can see the live load has been applied here like this. Okay, so uh, no problem in that. And uh, then you can just uh, go to your uh, stat editor itself, control plus S, uh, no say or not change anything so we only to press control plus s now and uh, then we can go and assign the your seismic uh, load here so seismic load considers the dead load and the live load mainly the load of the wall and the load of the uh, you know this uh, live load so member weight uh, first of all all the member weights which you have considered for the parapet wall and the main walls first of all select this member weights and uh, you can see the damping ratio is 0 0.05 self weight below this self weight just add this here and uh, make sure you make the change this uh, thing to make the turn on the caps lock on w e i g h t weight and uh, then uh, this uh, everything don't uh, change anything just uh, uh, just uh, make make sure you just uh, change this uh, you know minus 7 and uh, g y right u n i and in this u n i don't change this u n i this also and this also control this change this uh, like this okay and uh, you can check it first first of all just save this and uh, close this and if there is any error it will show here uh, now itself and now you can see here this uh, thing self it is okay and uni7 and uni3 uh, you have the loads here and then again you can, uh, you can save the model no change detect again just uh, go to the stat editor and you can see now you, you have to take the ratio of the live load here now uh, let's take the live load here uh, from the flow load uh, you can see here this flow load y range you can see here control plus c okay and then uh, you just go to the seismic load okay enter and then control plus b then make this as a uh, weight w e i g h t gaps and uh, gy just uh, don't need this gy and uh, direction minus two we don't need and now this is an interesting thing uh, whenever we are considering live load if it is two or less than two then it will consider 0.25 percent okay 0.25 percent of the uh, load here so it is uh you know if you consider 0.25 percent of two into 0.25 into two it is 0.5 so this flow load will be taken as 0.5 Right, this is a, given in the IS code one eight nine three. Okay, if you find it, then okay. If you just no, don't find where it is written, you can comment below. I'll make a video and show you that. Okay, so this is done, and uh, press the save button, and then close it, and then again just to check here whether everything is okay or not in the dead load. In the dead load, everything is there. Y range live load is there, and then in the definitions, you can see now the member weight is there. And the flow rate is also there. So, uh, like this, you can add or you can add directly from here also, right? Editor makes things a little bit easier for us. And in the seismic load, uh, just to go to the seismic load and in the seismic load, uh, click on uh, your add. And uh, uh, here uh, in the seismic load, I'm just uh, what we'll do, we'll go to this, uh, okay, seismic load and click on add here. And uh, here you have this options of different loads, surface load, seismic load, go to seismic load. And this is in the X direction, X direction factor one, add, and then close it. And the Z direction, and the Z direction also, click on add. And uh, here you have this seismic in the factor one, okay? Click on add. So uh, here we have added this uh, two things. And uh, uh, after adding this uh, two things, we'll also add uh, another thing which is the load combination so uh, now now we'll go to this uh, top portion and click on add here and uh, auto load combinations and obviously use the indian uh, code here and uh, generate loads here so and click on add So we can see here this load combinations have been added. So it is 1.5 into load 3, load 4, and all the load combinations have been added here. You can see and edit the changes here. So 
we can see this uh, load combination as uh, 1.2 times and uh, this is uh, the factor which is 1.2 and uh, into li so this all this load combination which I mentioned they take automatically here and uh, then you can close this uh, file and after that uh, the, for the foundation design, we have to create the unfactored load combination. There is no option for that. So we'll do it uh, later, the unfactored load combination. Uh, first of all, just uh, let's just uh, see and go to our, uh, you can see we have done support. We have done, uh, you know, this material obviously is concrete. Don't need to do anything. Support we have done uh, in this property we have assigned. And then we'll go to design and uh, in this design, and we have this analysis print and general and geometry. So uh, in this uh, des des design, we'll uh, go and uh, select this concrete and then we'll select the our Indian code here uh, because we're designing by this uh, code here, concrete code, uh, IS456, select the parameters here and uh, take all these things. The compulsory things which you need, uh, we'll uh, let's show you FC composite strength of concrete, FY main, press control and select FY main, FY secondary, MX main, MX secondary and then uh, uh, minimum main and minimum secondary and uh, and uh, then uh, you will find here okay let's take this first one two three four five six seven things we have taken and uh, anything else let's see if we need uh, we'll need a cover uh, let's see clear distance Clear, a clear cover. This one, we will need this. Okay. Uh, now, click on OK. And uh, then commands also will need a design beam, uh, design column, take off or the material quantity. We'll find it from here. Design slab we don't need. We'll not assign it. And define parameters. We'll define the parameters. Clear cover. Uh, 0.3 for beams. We'll take 0.3 meter for beams. And uh, point. Uh, Okay, 0.3 you have taken wrong actually. It is meters, it is 30 mm, so 0 0.03. We'll delete the thing earlier, 0 0.03. And then another one is 0 0.04. Uh, click on add. And then FC composite strength M20 grade we're considering 20, then one, two, three zeros because this is in kilonewton per meter square. Click on add. And then uh, FY main, we are using 500 uh, mm, uh, 550. Now you're actually getting, but 500, one, two, three. Let's take. And click on add and then FY secondary also. If it's 500, we're considering 500, 1, 2, 3, and then click on add and then maximum main reinforcement. Let's uh, take 16 mm for now. Click on add. Uh, maximum secondary, uh, we take, let's take 10 mm for now. Click on add and then minimum main, let's take uh, 8 mm. Add minimum secondary. Uh, minimum secondary also. Let's take 8 mm. Minimum main will be 12 mm. I just made a mistake here so we we'll correct it so this point three first of all let's uh, let me delete it let, let's see right click delete command uh, yes and then uh, another mistake i made minimum main this will be uh, right click edit command this will be actually 12 mm modify okay so uh, now uh, what we'll do we'll just uh, click on design beam and uh, go to select and then select beams parallel to x and select beams parallel to uh, Z and then uh, assign to selected beams, assign and uh, yes. And then uh, we'll see, click on design column. We'll select, go to select beams parallel to uh, Y and then assign and then yes. And then clear cover for the beams, select um, beams parallel to E or X and select beams parallel to Z and then click on assign and then yes. And then clear cover for, for the column, select beams parallel to uh, Y and then click on assign and yes. And uh, this will be your assigned to view, assign, and yes. And this will also be your assigned to view, assign, and yes. And this will be your assigned to view, uh, 500,000, assign, and yes. All these remaining things will be. As I interview. 
and then we'll go to analysis print and uh, analysis print all we can take static load and all we can click on add and then close and uh, then uh, just go to analyze and run analysis and uh, save the model and run analysis if there is an error that will be it will be shown and uh, you can see there is one error you can stay view out of file and see what is the error and uh, it is like saying the missing, the missing modulus with elasticity it means that uh, one particular element has not been defined so uh, you can go to uh, select select uh, mm, here uh, selection mode by specification by missing attributes missing property you see Okay, so this all the beams are here are missing property here. So we hadn't assigned for some reason by mistake, maybe first one, second one. So let's assign it. Uh, the beam the properties. So we'll go to here, uh, in general and uh, property. And uh, this uh, 0.3 into 0.3, we have 0.3 into 0.25. We are having here. So we click on here, uh, Define and it will be rectangle and uh, it will be point uh, zero point two five into uh, zero point uh, zero point three five and click on add and then close it and then we'll go to the front view and in the front view we'll select this and shift select this again okay and then uh, click on assign to selected views this will this we have changed one thing. And then we have not assigned the uh, anything for the slabs. So uh, what we'll do, we'll we haven't defined the thickness, right? So define uh, rectangle again. I think why go to why okay define thickness this one thickness and uh, this point one to five we have defined. Okay, click on add and then close and then untouched structure is there here and uh, here uh, assign to view and click on assign and do this. So it is assigned now the plate thickness that's why the error came and now you can go to analyze and run analysis and let's see what happens so let's see okay this is this is done okay these two errors are okay the warnings are okay so so this is done the design uh, has been done here let's take the design of columns let's see let's see this particular column here design concrete design uh so this is bar size 20 and number four okay it's okay and the four number so 20 bars that they have given here and here also you can see concrete design bar, bar size 20 number four let's take the one beam here and the design you can see Three numbers, twelve mm. Three numbers, twelve mm. Three numbers, twelve mm. That's okay. And let's see one middle beam. Uh, four numbers of twelve mm. Okay. So like this, they are giving. So this design is uh, done almost. So let's see this concrete design. Four numbers of ten. And uh, here we have a little large span. So that's why I'm seeing this. Uh, this is also two numbers, twelve mm. So beam design and uh, this column design has been done here the remaining thing is your uh, foundation design so we'll do the foundation design as uh, well so uh, stay tuned and uh, keep learning bye bye